Fort Wayne police are looking for Jeremiah Jones. He is the man who police say hit his four-year-old niece in the head with a wrench back in February. News Channel 15's Randy Spieth joins us now to explain. Well, Heather, this is a story that we've been following for several weeks now. Police say Jones was fighting with his father at a home on DuPont Road and threw a wrench at him, but it accidentally hit the little girl in the head. Doctors had to remove part of her brain because of the injury. Police continue to look for 34-year-old Jeremiah Jones. According to the probable cause affidavit, Jones is facing two felony charges, one for battery and one for criminal recklessness. On February 13th, police say Jeremiah Jones got into an argument with his father, James Lee Jones, over some tools. When the argument was over, James Lee Jones heard what he thought to be his wife saying, quote, Jeremy, no. That's when James Lee Jones noticed Jeremiah Jones throwing a wrench at him. But it missed and hit the four-year-old in the head. According to police, the child was taken to the hospital. There, she was put in an induced coma for a week. She had surgery to place a titanium mesh over the hole in her skull. She was also put on a ventilator after having a collapsed lung. In an interview with police, Jeremiah Jones said he did throw the wrench at his dad's feet and stated he did not throw them with any type of force that would have caused injuries to anyone. We tried to talk with the Jones family today to find out how the four-year-old girl is doing and allow them to give their side of the story. Relatives would not speak with us tonight, and it's unclear where Jeremiah Jones is right now. Also, Heather, it's not clear to why it took so long for prosecutors to file charges in this case. All right. Thank you very much, Randy.